Hey guys, so I'm stuck here right now with my Bamboo Labs printer and the extruder is clogged. So this isn't the hot end that's clogged, but it's the actual extruder inside. That's because I was using TPU and I think the TPU probably got warped up inside the, the gear extruder assembly. So I'm gonna take this apart and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. And if you guys have a clogged extruder, hopefully you guys can follow along and get your printer unstuck. So as you can see right now, I already took off the magnetic cover and that's over here. This connector just pops off right over there. You can see there's a missing connector. So that's super easy to take off. And to take off the hot end, I took off these two bolts. So you can see one right there and they just go through the holes over here. So all you have to do is take a, uh, whatever they provide you or for me, I just actually have a tool that I own um, it's, let me see if I can figure out, this is a 2.0 hex tool uh, that was able to get it undone. The next step I'm going to do is use a 1.5 and undo this bolt here. So what should happen is this blade should eventually pop out. There we go, it's popping out. And looks like it's free. Okay, so that's spring loaded right over there. You can see that spring. The next thing we're gonna do is to remove this bolt here and probably unplug the extruder. So I'm gonna power off my printer because it's currently on. So before doing that, I actually removed the two cables over there for the hot end, so I took the hot end off. So now to take the bolts off. Okay, looks like they're off. So we can remove this. Just got some filament dangling. Looks like we're gonna have to un we're gonna have to take off this uh, connector here as well. So all it is is just a quick pop. Nope, looks like I need to unscrew it a bit more. Let's see what we got back here. Okay, I was hoping to actually see something back here to see where the filament clog is but maybe i'll have to open this up a bit more looks like there's a few bolts back here that we can undo okay so i've removed the cover those four screws there and this is what you see behind so i'm gonna have to keep going deeper into this extruder to see where the clog is so after playing around with this for a little bit it looks like i actually need to pull this yellow gear out um, which is actually attached to the pin right over in the center here in this bearing. So that whole pin should come out with the yellow piece and then we should have the clog revealed. Okay, so I pull it out and as you can see, there's the TPU stuck in there. So I'm gonna get that out and we should have a clear extruder. So why it got clogged, I'm not entirely sure, but when I take the piece out, I'll see if any sort of heat creep happened um, up the filament strand and maybe it started to soften inside the extruder, which would be a bad thing. Okay, so yeah, now I cleared the clog and actually this gear fits in very easily. So before I was trying to really pull it out, that's because there was filament in there and it was jammed. So if you open up your extruder, this gear should be easy to pull out. And if it's not, you definitely have a clogged extruder. So this was a piece of filament that got jammed in there. It doesn't look like there's any sort of heat creep that went up. Um, the filament, but maybe just because this is like 90 ATPU, it got uh, extruded a little bit too quickly. And then I think especially it's because of how the machine is loading and unloading. So if I were to do the loading and loading again, I probably wouldn't use the actual tool to do it. I would do it manually where I set the temperature to about 220. Whereas if you're trying to ex if you're trying to load or unload using the feature on the Bamboo Labs printer, then it's going to set the temperature to 250, which is a little bit too high in my opinion. And also the extruder, when it's trying to unload, it does turn the gear quite quickly versus if you were to step the extruder yourself, you can do it in small increments and make sure there's no clogs. So that sums up my experience with the Bamboo Labs printer with a clogged extruder. And this is one of the things that I haven't mentioned in my previous video when I reviewed the Bamboo Labs P1P because it just happened to me this morning. If you're not planning to print with flexible filaments, then you don't have to worry about this. 
but I have also had this happen on my printer at work where there was issues with TPU when I was printing stuff for work. Basically what happened was the print started and then nothing came out. There was very like thin strands of TPU that came out. So I was trying to debug what happened there, but luckily on the work printer, I was able to pull my TPU out. I think what you have to do instead of cutting the TPU, which I cut it with this cutter here, this handle, do not cut your TPU if it's stuck in your extruder. What you want to do is instead remove the Bowden tube and then just grab the TPU from the top of the extruder and pull out as you try to de-extrude your filament. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Hopefully this helped you out if you have a clogged extruder. If you figured out how to do it after watching this video, I'd like to hear from you down in the comments down below or just drop a like on this video. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.